Yo guys, it's me, Rene Guardado, Rene G661. What's up? Welcome to another update video, which I don't know what episode, what part I am, but since it's been a, a while, I, all I remember is that I did on during the Christmas season, of course, or after Christmas. I hope everybody had a great Happy New Year's for 2023, and hopefully you guys found a new beginning, a new life, everything. Me, um... A little complicated bad start for, for me 2023 but this is gonna be the reason why I'm gonna explain my update videos and what's been going on with me and why I haven't been inactive and everything lately and this is what I'm gonna explain but first of all uh, I really hope um, that you guys are you know do uh, have a great Christmas gifts or hopefully you got a good time, uh, and maybe and uh, maybe Happy New Year's. Hopefully, you guys got your wishes, everything come true, and stuff like that. Well, to begin with, well, I haven't been doing some a lot of a lot of activities, uh, you know, for the past couple months since January, after you know after the holidays and everything. Well, I guess what I can say is uh, I did have a final adventure plan around January by going to couple songs with my friends and everything. And yes, my, my mission is complete there. And so, so far, there has been a little complicated while I was, a road, while I was at the road trip. Well, you know, I had a, this, uh, you know, I had an older car called a Hot Pacific 2005. And, you know, while I was at road, there was a lot of problems, a lot of issues with my car. Something to do with my car getting overheating a lot. And, and it was really scary and stressful for me for the past uh, month. And, uh, and, you know, really expensive, the parts of the car. So I couldn't, uh, I couldn't bear to. Uh, that, that it wasn't, I wasn't sure if it was going to be fixed or not because there was so many problems. Around the engine, the car, everything. I didn't want. I didn't want no no part of it anymore. It was really stressful that I just can't do it. So, so what happened is that I decided to uh, get a new car. So, if, you know, I got a car that's a that's a, a Nissan Sentra 2005. I got it around Fairbury around there so pretty much uh, I was I was really happy and it's, the car is really in good condition and I, and I enjoyed driving it I tested out to go like places like Glendale San Mac Florida and, and there's no problems I guess in sometimes cars does have a lot of problems and engines and them prices are really expensive that's another reason I've been having a lot of problems. And I'm still in a situation that I kind of owe some. I'm trying to pay back everything, some money. You know, since I was in a situation with the car, everything little by little, I gotta put everything, stuff like that. But yeah, that's the reason I haven't been quite active. But I have been playing video games like Fortnite. I've been playing like Smash Bros., Mario Kart, video games, Sonic Frontiers. Some Zelda games. I'm trying to catch up with with some show with some shows that I'm watching on Netflix and do like anime shows and everything. Trying to complete some of my shopping. Trying to get what I can afford and everything. Oh, and I really hope you guys enjoy the walkthrough of Carnivores Dinosaur Hunter Episode Six on, on the final computer. Me hunting the Triceratops, which I'm going to start doing an app on the phone. And I like this one. So I'm going to be doing a walkthrough here and then I'll be doing my voice I'll be like hunting dinosaurs there'll be like new species and new creatures that that wasn't in the PC so I'll be playing more in the computer so it's gonna be a really challenging to play on the family app so I'm gonna give it everything I got and just hunt the dinosaurs that I, uh, that I couldn't hunt in there so I know I already did some hunting over there on my computer so I'm, it'll be like a fresh new start walkthrough for me so that's what I'm gonna do right now and RXC Wrestling, well, 
I know I did say I was gonna get back and do it and everything. It's just that lately, like I, like I said, I've been having all these crazy schedules with the car situation, the holidays, and you know I've been kind of don't have any ideas what what to think of New York City. Just I'm still trying to think some ideas, so it's not easy when you come up with some ideas. Is it, but but I know lately I've been doing some filming, everything from last year. But speaking of the filming this year, we were supposed to do some filmings. But, but I guess my friend Malik, he he's gonna be out of action for this year because I guess last year he he injured his arm. We were supposed to do a filming when we went to Glendale. You know the plan that our our friend Edder was gonna be at a girl and me, Ray Mysterio and Malik almost, but. Uh, but I guess when he was trying to get go out, you know, to get something to eat, you know, he went he w working found her at nighttime, and I guess we don't know what really happened. But what happened is that we don't know. I guess he started to feel that injury. We don't know what really happened that day. But right now he ha he has this thing like this, like he's cyborg right now. So most likely he's gonna be out of action. So there's some scenes that's keeping us not doing it much. Because, you know, he's out of action. But, but we're still going to do some filmings. It's not going to be a lot, a lot, a lot. But it's going to be some filmings we're going to be doing. I mean, Josh is still going to continue doing some filmings. And maybe a couple of friends are going to participate. We might have some new people participating there. But, oh yeah, and there's some there's some two friends that, that were my friends. That were in the filming. But I won't mention their names. But most likely they won't be part of filming anymore because I guess personal problems with, with me or personal that there's some things I don't really agree that make me decide that I just don't know what to do with them so I have to disown them. So that's another reason why the filming has been kind of slow. So most likely we are going to find some, some new people, some new actors. All I know is that Edder, Malik, and Josh are still gonna be active in the filming. Only Malik's gonna be out of action. But I don't know when he's gonna come back. And I told him when he thinks he's ready, he could come back. Either he could come this year or next year, 2024. So we really don't know what's gonna happen. So we're gonna do our best what we can so we can get all the pieces of the videos. It's like I said, we don't do filmings like we used to every week or every day, you know, like our early 20s. It's because we were active, you know, like now that we're almost in our 30s, you know, everybody has a busy schedule, has a job, or, or don't have time, or busy helping families, or some are getting married. It's not really easy, so, you know, everyone has their own schedule, and, you know, I'm not trying to force people, so I try to respect their decisions and boundaries, and we try to figure whatever we can. But you never know what, what's gonna happen. But we're gonna see if we can if we're gonna do this week too. But there's another reason why it's making us keep us not doing filming too. The weather has been pretty crazy, so it's been raining a lot recently in the news. If you guys saw the news, what's going on here in California? Like there's a lot of rain, a lot of water has been coming around California, like around the mountains, the oceans. Like like there's a like a flood came over there, so that's another reason that kept us inactive too. But right now, spring has begun, so we're hoping that it, it, it's gonna work. Uh, but I don't know what's gonna happen on Saturday. Uh, we have to see if, um, what's gonna happen on Saturday. I know my friend is available because he doesn't work on Saturday, so now he's back to work. But, but there's another friend that's gonna participate in the filming, but we gotta see if he's gonna make it this week. I'm debating if he's going to make it this week, if not next week. And, and I did say that I might go to college. I'm supposed to go to college this month in March. Uh, right now my mom's out of town right now, so uh, I don't have experience in adoration through and stuff like that too. So I'm, I'm thinking about taking art class. Not not just art of painting, but I want to take art, like, like sketch, writing, and stuff like that. So what, what we're going to do first is uh, we got um, to figure out what's going to happen. So mom should be coming next month. So I 
there's a lot of stuff I need to take care of around here, so I'm trying to get a lot of crazy things out of here, out of the way. Life is keep kind of keeping me act inactive, busy. I've not really as as active as, as I used to, but I try to do whatever I can as possible. So I still do walk through. I still draw, play video games, just sometimes. Just been pretty busy, like crazy right now at the moment. So that's another reason why what's been going on with me, you know, the weather's been pretty crazy. Some friends kind of left and and I kind of left them too because there's some things I just couldn't bear with them and couldn't agree with them. And and I know people are wondering, am I going to still be their friends or not? Honestly, you know, I usually give people one or two chances, but since they kind of failed the second chances, I don't really plan to come back to them again as part as part of my life because I don't really want to stress or fight anymore because it, I, I just can't st stress anymore it's, so too much drama so I just rather keep I rather keep them away from me so I just try to do is move forward and do what I gotta do as much as possible right now I, I've been going to therapy so I've learned a lot over the years Sorry guys, if you guys hear, hear the background, there's dogs barking. There's a lot of crazy people out there, so. Excuse me guys, sorry about it for the commotion. There's dogs barking. So, so yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. We try, we're still trying to find some new actresses. So, you know, I don't really have too many friends as girls. I mean, I did. I do talk to some girls online, like Instagram. But uh, you know, I, I don't like make conversations. I just compliment their outfits, their costumes, or saying they look great, they look pretty or beautiful. That's pretty much what I could do. But I mean, I could try to start with a conversation if I just comment one of their videos on YouTube. You know, whatever they want to talk about, I just try to say what I get, what I what I gotta say. I don't really talk too much, you know, I'm not really the most outgoing person. You know, when I mostly meet a person, I'm, I, I am really shy, I'm really nervous. So I'm not really good talking to people. I know you guys are thinking, I'm, pretty, I'm doing a pretty good job talking in a video. No, not really. I, I have more confidence talking right here in a video because I can be myself. But when I'm going public, I barely don't talk to a lot of people besides my own friends. You know. Like I said, I have to get to know the person first. It depends how people could treat me. You know, the most the most of the time, I, I just want them to treat me with the respect and kind. And you know, if, if they do something nice for me, I do something nice for them. I just don't like them to take advantage of me. You know, I need to take time. Maybe it's gonna take years or a while for me to get to know them. It's like it's like I said. If people wants to be in my life, they have to earn my respect. Or, or my trust you know if people cause a lot of damage or hurt me and come back in my life all I can do is I can forgive them but I won't be the same with them as long as they respect my boundaries I respect my I respect their boundaries and I know I did say I don't really make promises but I, the only promise I will make is I will never get into anybody's business unless they come to me for advices or opinions and you know I, I just let them their own choices you know i used to get into people's business tell them what to do not like i'm trying to tell them what to do i was just looking out for them as a friend but i guess a lot i guess some some people got tired of me that i was too much for them say that i'm annoying uh, or i repeat or talk too much so you know there's some people that kind of left me that don't want to deal with it so i, I have to just change some of my ways and went to therapy and they taught me what's right what's wrong so I've, I'm, I'm learning about life and everything, so I've came a long way with, and stuff like that. So that, that's how I'm gonna do. You know, if I wanna talk to people, it just takes time. And, you know, most importantly, trust and respect. You know, I, like I said, I can I, I can be rude if they if they become rude with me. Uh, but I try to do is be more be more respectful and try to be nice, even though I, I may not talk too much. Technically, I'm not really much of a socialized person, but I try to do it the best I can to be mostly myself, which is 
that's the more important I have to be right now. So, that's pretty much what, what's been going on with my life right now. I've been pretty busy doing some housework, you know, mom's kind of kind of pimp, so I've been doing some housework. Been going to the gym a lot, well, mostly three or four days a week. Well, sometimes I walk outside. It depends on the weather because it's been pretty crazy as of lately. But I'm really hoping the rain will stop a little bit with this. So we can do some filming. So hopefully we'll do a scene this Saturday. I want to try to do a scene where me, I could be the rock. And you know, a friend will be like a fan. You could, you know, Josh, you could be like a bodyguard for Brock. Make a scene where I'm going to a helicopter guy, a helicopter that like has a spotlight. A big giant bird, pterosaur, dinosaur, like, you know, from the Jurassic World Dominion that like the plane. So that, that's how big the birds are. So, oh yeah, before I start a, a, a little story dinosaur book, here, I gotta show you something. I, I was painting my, my computer entertainment system, so it took me a while. So, here he is, guys. <laughs> entertainment system it was a lot, a lot of work a lot of moving a lot of toys that I have to organize so I painted it black it has a t-rex logo my Ignacio and I, I'm trying to keep things organized in my room I like to keep things nice organized that's just who I am well I guess we're gonna read we're, we're gonna read a story about dinosaurs this time let me get my reading glasses, cause I'm not, cause I, I, I can't really, I can't really see like I used to. So I have to use my glasses for, for, for driving and reading and maybe see things. But I took my glasses off, so you know, mainly for the filming and the camera. Let's see what, let's see what I could book. Let's see what we could read about it. Yeah. I know I read some dinosaurs. There's theropods, theropods. All right, let's go to page 124. It's a, but this time, like I said, we're gonna read about the Quetzalcoatlus, which is the one from the Jurassic World Dominion. The, the one I'm gonna be doing the scene this Saturday. If if I'll ever, I'll, if I'll ever think I'll ever make it to. All right. This term we're reading, Case of Quatless. All right. Here we go. Case of Quatless. Named after Case of the feather serpent god of Aztec mythology, Case of Quatless lived in the end of the Cretaceous. Its wingspan was up to 11 meters, 36 feet, making it the largest of the 450 known species of pterosaur. On the lookout, Quetzalcoatlus had a long neck and good eyesight. On land, it walked on all fours, looking for carrion or small animals to eat. Flight used to a lot of energy. Whenever possible, Quetzalcoatlus glided rather than flapping its wing. Wow, that's interesting. And it says here, the wing membrane was thin but tough. It was just 23 centimeters, eight inch thick at the elbow. Taking off, smaller pterosaurs could launch themselves into the air by running along of their back legs like birds. Larger ones, such as Quetzalcoatlus, were too heavy for that and needed to start from the control pedal position. Their front legs were much stronger than their back ones and could give enough of an awkward thrust to make it the animal airborne. Pterosaurs did not have feathers, however, some, perhaps including Quetzalcoatlus, had fuzzy filaments called 
by high no virus covering their bodies. Okay, did you know this fossil belongs to a family called the Astarchids, which includes some of the largest flying animals of all time? Wow, that's interesting. I will not miss this part. Can the botanists do inland rather than over the sea so they could glide on thermal birds of warm air? The cyclists were probably the first to touch the ground in his pubis and with the pubis's narrow toothless beak was at least 2.5 meters 8 feet long. Yep, that's the pterosaur. The biggest pterosaur flying dinosaur. Bigger than a pteranodon. I do not want to mess with it. Fine creature. Think of us like we're gummy worms. Well, we're not saying we're gummy worms, but for them, they think we're gummy worms, so they're bigger than us, and we're really smaller than them. So we're like more like gummy worms, so they just grab their beaks, grab us, and munch on them. Oh, no, 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 no. So we're like gummy, gummy, gummy worms. So that's, that's what's up with those guys. So yeah, the... So that's the scene I'm gonna make where the rock goes to the helicopter with his bodyguard, you know, and goes to try goes to a wrestling show, you know, he's the WWE champion, and like as a comes out of nowhere, destroys the helicopter, and the rock and bodyguard is there, and then the rock goes somewhere and got lost, and he lost his WWE champion, and he has to find somewhere to be safe. So it's, it's gonna be an interesting scene we're gonna be doing. But like I said. Uh, we don't know when the episode is going to start episode 16 to 20 because we're still trying to work all the scenes so we combine all the scenes little by little pieces since you know everybody's busy or out of action stuff like that so but we're going to do whatever we can it's like Josh says it's better we do it slow patient as much as possible so that's it that's his advice he, he, he gave me my, it wasn't my idea it was his idea so I give the credit to Josh well I better get going guys uh, I have a I have a big long day to go to to do tomorrow gotta go to the gym gotta get gotta get to the best shape as I can so uh, it was really great it's always great to see you guys and and take care peace out and bye bye